welcome and thank you for spending some of your time with us my name is tina rosenquist and this is knowledge for wellness and this show is to better inform you because when you know more you are empowered to make better decisions for yourself and your loved ones for a better quality of life and knowledge is power and today's topic is on organic hair care and i am delighted to present Lori wisen the founder and CEO of Green Body, Green Planet, Organic Hair Care, located in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And questions we'll be asking her are, why chemical free? And what is the term greenwashing and what does it mean? And why choose chemical free or organic options? Welcome, Lori. Hi, how are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me today. Oh, I'm so delighted you could come on Knowledge mm -hmm. for Wellness. But this is your first time on. Yes. So what was the driving force behind Green Body, Green Planet? Well, I've been a salon owner for about 13 years. Mm -hmm. And in 2002, my husband was diagnosed with cancer. I'm so sorry. And uh, yeah, it was non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, okay. which is an environmental cancer. Okay. He did six treatments and went into remission okay. for about four years and the cancer returned. Mm. And when it came back, it came back with a vengeance. He was loaded. It was in his lungs. He had tumors all over, even though it was still non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Mm -hmm. It had just really expanded throughout his body. Um, he started a two and a half year regiment of chemotherapy. Okay. After that, it was kind of one step forward, two steps back. Mm. Um, they considered it salvage chemo at that point because nothing was working for him. Sure. So during that time when he was really sick, I started thinking about if we were contributing somehow to our own illnesses. Mm. Uh, one of the things his doctor had mentioned when he was diagnosed the second time was that they didn't understand why it had come back so late because typically if the lymphoma was going to come back it would be back within the first six months to a year okay. and it had taken four years for it to return mm -hmm. and so we thought maybe this is something that um, I thought anyways that maybe this is something that we're possibly contributing to mm -hmm. and I was out at a bookstore and I, I came across the book Not Just a Pretty Face oh, by okay. Stacey Milken mm -hmm. and it completely changed my life oh. changed my changed my philosophy on how I run my business okay. and my personal life. Okay. I walked into my salon and I, I, after I learned more about chemicals and cosmetics from reading mm -hmm. this book and doing other research, I walked into my salon and I noticed that all my product lines, I'm selling these to my clients right. and I felt almost a moral obligation to change things. Okay. And so I started doing some research on finding some organic hair care lines, or more importantly, toxin-free mm -hmm. hair care lines, professional. They, you know, they needed to, to do what we're used to in the salon industry. They have to have high performance, be able to lather, be able to nourish, color protect, sure. um, provide volume, all of that. And I couldn't really find anything that I felt worthy of. If it wouldn't work at my hair, mm -hmm. I didn't feel I could sell it to my clients. Right. And so I went on a journey looking for a hair care line and I couldn't find it. So I found a manufacturer and we created our own. Wow. Well, how did you create it? I actually didn't create it in my kitchen, I like to say, but uh -huh. um, I work with a manufacturer and a chemist okay. that custom blends it for me. So they know exactly what it is that I'm looking for mm -hmm. in a professional brand and they deliver. Okay. Well, we're hearing more and more about toxicities and us absorbing a lot of things in mm -hmm. our bodies. and. So when you came up with this with the manufacturer, is that here in the U.S. or where is that at? Um, actually, we're in Canada. Okay. My manufacturer is in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was doing my research looking for a company, I noticed, and, and I also um, researching just chemicals and cosmetics, period, mm -hmm. I found that the European Union, Japan, and Canada ban more chemicals than the United States. They okay. ban over 1,000. The United States bans 11. Mm. So there's a significant difference in when I started searching for companies um, that would produce a product that was low in toxins and low in chemicals. I couldn't find any in the United States that were up to my standards. Okay, so, so is it elsewhere. totally toxin-free and chemical-free? Mm -hmm. And it you is. worked with a chemist on that mm -hmm. too? Chemist and the manufacturer. Okay. Um, they custom blend for me. Their, their formulations, everything that they use and everything that they do 
um, is biodynamic practices, wild crafted, um, organic farming, every, everywhere they source, it's either fair trade. Um, it's all very pure and clean and mm -hmm. they don't do any substitutions. Okay. So where you would find in a lot of products that are out right now, you find parabens are being replaced with, a, with an ingredient called phenoxyethanol. Okay. And phenoxyethanol is still a preservative and it's still a carcinogen and it's still a toxin, even okay. though it's not a hormone disruptor oh. like a paraben is. Okay. So I went with a company that, that doesn't make any sacrifices and, and won't settle. Wow. And then we all benefit from this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. When more and more we're hearing about people coming down with cancer and right. illnesses and, you know, because of our, our actual environment mm -hmm. in itself. Absolutely. Yeah. And people are more aware of what we're doing to the earth. Yeah, I with think the toxins, so. you know. And a lot of it, people aren't realizing so much. I think they look more outwardly mm -hmm. than inwardly and they don't realize that what you're putting on your body absorbs into your skin and goes mm -hmm. into your bloodstream. Exactly. And it goes in fast as opposed to if you're ingesting it um, or breathing it in because it, we all know that transdermal like nicotine patches mm -hmm. and medicine patches right. works instantly. Mm -hmm. And so when you're putting chemicals on your body, you're compounding them and your chemical overload, it's the body burden, it's just getting higher and higher. Mm -hmm. And you think about as we get older and older, all the other environmental factors that play into it and then plus what we're putting on our bodies, mm -hmm. it's going into our organs, into our, our blood streams, into our lymph nodes yes. and, and our body can't keep up with, with detoxing it out. Mm -hmm. And even the lotion that we use for even mm -hmm. um, premenopausal. Absolutely. You know, that we're putting on our skin. Mm -hmm. And we're hearing more and more about that hurting us right. as well. So, right. And how fast it absorbs in other than taking, uh, say, a pill. Right. You exactly. Yes. Exactly. So obviously, you know, using hair products that we use in our hair absorbs into mm -hmm. our blood flow right there. Right, well. especially into the scalp. And mm -hmm. you think about it, it washes down your body and it mm -hmm. goes down the drain. Yes. So then not only are you absorbing the chemicals into your body right there, but when it goes down into the water supply and it's treated, sometimes it's not taken back out. And so we're ingesting it again mm -hmm. or showering yeah. in it again. So there's a lot of chemicals out there that, that aren't being taken out of our water supply that we are, you know, bringing back into our bodies over and over again. Yes, very much so. Mm -hmm. Now you use the word greenwashing, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure a lot of my viewers are familiar with that. So could you explain that a little more in sure. detail? Greenwashing is basically the act of um, companies misleading consumers about okay. the environmental practices of their company or uh, the environmental benefits of using their product. Okay. Uh, for example, when I was doing research on some hair care, I came across a line and on the front of the bottle, there was a little, uh, like a seal of oh. approval. Oh, okay. And it was real earthy looking, had a, had a leaf in it, had a check mark in it, and it said USDA certified. Oh, okay. And when I turned it around, I read the back, it actually took me about four times to really read to understand what I was reading and it mm -hmm. didn't say USDA certified organic, it said USDA certified pure organic. Okay, and it, so it was kind of sneaky, right? Uh -huh. Very misleading, and so mm -hmm. a lot of consumers, you know, turn a bottle around, look at it very quickly, sure, think it's an organic product, right. and take it away. And we're, I'm safe by purchasing this, right? Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Because yeah. they are trying to do a little bit to protect themselves as well, right? And you know, more and more people are getting more aware of, mm -hmm. you know, things that are happening not only with the planet, but in our own environment, and Correct. even new carpet. Uh, when you put in new carpet into your home, they want you to at least air it out for a couple of days sure. and want you to be gone. Sure. Because you know, of the absorbance of that as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of formaldehyde releasing um, chemicals in a lot of the products that we use, even in shampoos. And oh. so a lot of companies can claim that their products are all natural, mm -hmm. but then like sodium lauryl sulfate creates 1,4-dioxane, which creates formaldehyde. Okay. And so even though they say all natural, formaldehyde is technically a natural ingredient, but it's also a toxin producer. Yes. So it can be, you know, deadly. Mm -hmm. Well, we basically want to tell our viewers a little bit about what they can do to um, be a little bit more aware of using organic hair products. So could you talk about that a little bit? Well, one of the things that, uh, 
I'm an advocate for is for sure reading labels. Okay. Yes. Um, a lot of that can be really overwhelming because there's so many chemical names. Mm -hmm. And from my understanding, there's about 400 chemicals a day being created. Okay. So it's really hard even for myself to keep up with a lot of the chemicals that are being produced on the market today. Um, we just were advocates of educating them, educating yourselves, finding yes. out um, what a paraben is, what are the substitutes for it, and, and making the best choice at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're, I like to say, if you're on the beach and a sunscreen that has chemicals in it is all that you have, you would rather use that than burn. Right. You know, so it's really about yeah. making good choices, find ingredients um, that are more natural, so like jojoba oil, olive oils. Um, essential oils, things like that, mm -hmm. um, along with doing some research on the companies themselves, calling oh. them up or getting on their on their website and finding out exactly what they're made out of. Mm -hmm. A lot of companies will say, um, they'll give you their key ingredients, like made with this, but then they don't let you know the rest of the ingredients. So oh, okay. they, could, they could tell you that they have like maybe four organic ingredients in the product line, mm -hmm. but then it could be 10 or 12 other toxins in there or chemicals in there. Yeah. So a lot of it is just really learning how to read labels. I think More that's awareness I mean. of right. the toxins and what they right. are and such and, yeah. and what yep. to look for yep. or and what to avoid as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. And it's a personal, kind of a personal challenge and a personal responsibility. We can't expect that the answers are going to be right there from the companies because it is clever marketing. Yes. And so you have to be careful with what you're buying, you mm -hmm. know, kind of be your own advocate. Yes. And be aware of mm -hmm. avoidance. So viewers that are purchasing some hair products, can you elaborate on you know your product versus uh, one on the shelf? Sure, sure. Okay. Um, basically, with the Green Body Green Planet, the first 14 ingredients that we have on our list, um, mm -hmm. next to water, water is the first, okay. and the next 14 ingredients are a certified organic blend oh. of essential, or not essential oils, but extracts, plant extracts, um, biodynamic um, herbs. And then after that, probably down in the one third portion of the, the ingredient mm -hmm. list is our surfactant, which is a, the, we don't use sodium lauryl sulfate and we don't use um, a chemical surfactant, which is the cleansing agent, the lathering agent. Okay. We use cocoa polyglucose, which is a sugar and plant-based right. um, product or ingredient. Very natural. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And so the blending of all of our products together creates this just really synergistic product but you're not getting the surfactant as the first ingredient where a lot of even organic um, or non-toxic products out there, their first couple of ingredients are the surfactant. Even if it's a natural surfactant, it's mm -hmm. still at the top of the list. Okay. So you're getting like 14 beneficial oils and extracts right away and that's in the highest concentration. Okay. So you've got like, um, just for instance, avocado okay. is in there, which has got a natural SPF of eight. So you're getting a natural sun protection uh -huh. right there. So yes. um, that's really helpful. We have an ingredient called Australian bush kakadu plant. Okay. And that is loaded with antioxidants. So you're, you're fighting free radicals in your hair, which is the cause of dehydration and dryness. And that's how most of us lose our color. Mm -hmm. If we are coloring our hair mm -hmm. or our hair dries out and we get damaged hair, it's because we can't fight the free radicals. So a lot of the ingredients that we have, the first lineup is full of essential fatty acids, which moisturize and deeply penetrate into the hair and the scalp, and then an antioxidants as well. Okay. So the benefits of using Green Body Green Planet uh, would pro also produce non-toxics in their hair and absorbing into their skin, but mm -hmm. what else are the benefits of that? Well, it, it increases the shine of your hair because what it's doing is creating a natural environment for your hair. You're not coating it with silicones okay. or any type of plastics, which are really common in um, hair care products. Right. Plastics give you the hold, it's PVP. Um, and that gives you more of a hold, which is uh, really popular in hairsprays and gels. Okay. Um, there's a lot of silicones in hair care, and that's what gives you that typical slip, that slippery feeling with your conditioner. Okay. Um, we don't have that in our lineup. We use more of the, like the avocado oils, the jojoba oil, and the almond oil. Mm -hmm. So you don't get that typical slip that you get with any other hair care line, but when you blow dry your hair, you yeah. find the results are deeply moisturizing. 
Um, I've been using it okay. for several years. I wash my body with it. I wash my face with it. Mm -hmm. You can, my husband shaves with it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of benefits. So it's multi-purposeful. You can take it to the gym with you. You can travel with it. Okay. Um, there's a lot of benefits. It's, it's, it's deeply moisturizing, but it's not going to weigh the hair down at the same time because there's nothing coating it. It goes to the inside of the cortex of the hair, kind of the base of the hair. Mm -hmm. And, and heals it basically from the inside out. Okay. It's 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 beneficial for um, scalp conditions like psoriasis, oh. eczema, dandruff. Um, we've had clients that have come in that have actually taken the conditioner and put it on patches on their neck where they have psoriasis and it's and it's cleared up their psoriasis. Wow. We've had clients that have used it for their baby's cradle cap. Mm -hmm. Within a couple of days it's gone. Oh. Because it's non-toxic so it's mm -hmm. very safe for babies, children. Wow. That's good to hear. Yeah. yeah. Now you talked earlier about if someone happens to dye their hair. Mm -hmm. Now are there different product lines for different hair types then? There is. We okay. have um, four different products actually. We have two different shampoos and two different conditioners and then we also have it in an unscented version as well. Okay. So for anybody who is sensitive, there's no fragrance in here at all. I do want to point that out. It's, it's okay. scented with essential oils, but some people are even still chemically sensitive to that. Right. So we do have a completely unscented line. Mm -hmm. And the two conditioners, they're all color protecting. Everything in the line is. And, but we differentiate by hair type. Okay. So we have a product for more fine, normal hair. Mm -hmm. And then we have the other, which is, that's the energy shampoo and okay. conditioner. And then the revitalizing is for more uh, distressed, damaged hair. Okay. Like I high lift my hair. I use the revitalizing shampoo and conditioner. It gives me more moisture. Okay. Um, helps kind of protect your, your hair from split ends, from the sun damage. Oh, sure. Hot irons, flat, you know, flat irons, that type of of the environmental damage that way. Mm -hmm. um, the energy is good for fine textured hair. People who have, um, they struggle with volume or mm -hmm. struggle with thinness in you know, trying to create volume. It actually adds more substance to the hair and it doesn't weigh it down. Okay. So we've gotten a really great response from clients who have very fine, baby fine hair that wow. can just use the shampoo alone. Mm -hmm. Well, does someone come to you then and ask you, you know, what the best product is for their hair type? Um, we do at the salon. Mm -hmm. Yep, we do consult at the salon, but okay. online we actually have a chart oh. that we break it down to. So a client, a customer can go in and see what her hair type is, sure. whether it be long or short, curly or wavy, mm -hmm. lacks moisture, um, if they color, highly process. Um, then we kind of break it down into like a matrix and explain to them what would be the best um, the best lineup for them. Sure. And if they really are confused, they can just email us. Oh, all and right. I'm usually the one answering the email. So then, okay. and I'm a stylist uh -huh. by trade, so I can answer their questions for them. Very nice. So let's someone has an itchy scalp. Is that kind of a sign that there might be some toxins in their hair care product that they should be aware of? It could be absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the chemicals that are in hair care products do cause like skin irritation, scalp irritations. Um, itchiness, dryness, some of them coat the scalp and coat the hair and so uh, toxins that you naturally have in your body can't get out. Okay. So if somebody was suffering from that either, um, like we could just use for example flaky scalp. Okay. A lot of the times that's misdiagnosed as a dandruff and then they'll go use a dandruff shampoo mm -hmm. because they think that's what they need to cure right. it and actually it creates more of a problem and they become dependent on that shampoo. Oh, okay. Um, when actually what they need to do is just clear the scalp off of any type of buildup, product mm -hmm. buildup or toxin buildup and just give the hair and the scalp a clean environment. It can be a sign that um, they need to change, mm -hmm. definitely. And okay. again, like I say, ours is, it's, you know, we can't use the term healing, but in right. a way it's very soothing and very, very comforting to the scalp and the hair. Uh -huh. And most of the time, whatever skin conditions that they do have, it does clear up within a few days. Wow, mm -hmm. so just a few days of using the product. Usually, yeah, okay. it really does. And even over time, you'll notice like the health of your hair, it just gets better and better and better. Mm -hmm. The hair gets stronger. Um, it gets shiny and it just increases the strength because you're not putting that chemical burden on it over and over, um, which a lot of these chemicals, chemicals aren't rate, we don't really know what they're doing. Right. You know, we have no idea. They may mm -hmm. tell you that, you know, it's increasing the hair strand and it's making it healthier and stronger, but do we really know that's the case? Mm -hmm. You know, nature has proven itself that, that it's kind of dependable that way. So mm -hmm. um, yeah. we like to go with that. Well, people are becoming more and more aware of our environment mm -hmm. and becoming more green. And 
knowing that the toxins in our planet are actually hurting us mm -hmm. and we're hearing more and more about cancer and it's making a lot of awareness. Correct. And right. so we're actually trying to go green and by educating our viewers on this actual product itself too is very beneficial. I think um, people are getting smarter. Mm -hmm. I think we're being more savvy, mm -hmm. um, asking more questions. And I think there's a lot of greenwashing out there right now, but it's starting to kind of fade away. People are starting to really realize what the truth is and mm -hmm. learning more and more. And they're asking questions because it is really confusing. Right. Like I could use the silicones, for example, are there's a lot of cousins of that name, which okay. is like dimethicone, cyclopentasiloxane, just to name two, and they're in almost every product that you use. It coats your skin, it gives you that nice, beautiful sheen, mm -hmm. kind of fills up the pockets if we use it on our face or oh, on sure. our body. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also, it's a plastic and it's actually coating our skin so it's not allowing toxins out. It does the same thing to our hair. So it's actually suffocating the Pretty skin much, yeah, too, that's yes. a good word for it, absolutely. Okay. And then when that rinses off, it doesn't ever biodegrade in the environment. So when that goes into our water supply, it mm -hmm. stays there. Mm -hmm. And it's very damaging to the wildlife and the ecosystem, coral reefs, all of that, it's, it, it's all connected. And even though it's not considered an, a toxin, mm -hmm. to me, I, I still, we categorize it as a toxin with Green Body, Green Planet, we won't put it in our products. So Lori, how do you think people are taking this Green Body, Green Planet or green awareness? I think it's improving. I think in the last couple of years, we're seeing more and more of it. People are becoming more savvy, mm -hmm. more aware of the environment and and their impact on it. Um, you know, it's not just recycling anymore. They're, they're being more proactive with their health and their wellness. Mm -hmm. Um, how they start their day off, what they're eating, all of that I think is, it, it's just becoming more and more the norm. Yes. And the other ways are kind of falling aside. And so I think as time goes on, a lot of this greenwashing is gonna fade away into mm -hmm. non-existence. And these true companies such as Green Body, Green Planet are gonna be, you know, stepping up to the challenge and be there when, when consumers are, are ready to take on the challenge of, of helping themselves and helping the environment. So I think it's getting better and better. Yeah, and more awareness also with mm -hmm. people knowing that they have to take their own life into their own hands. Right, yes. responsibility, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yes, very much so. And that's a positive thing for everyone mm -hmm. to know. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. you're the only one that's really in control mm -hmm. of your life and, and your body. So yeah. it's the best way to go about it. Yeah, very nice, very nice. It sounds as if Green Body, Green Planet is taking off. What's mm -hmm. in store next for it? Well, we're in the middle of redesigning our website. Um, okay. And also, hopefully this year, uh, expanding into a gel and a hair cream, like a smoothing cream. Okay. That's in the future. And down the road, we'd like to go into skincare. Yes. Definitely. And with your knowledge and working with the chemist, I think it's going to be a great avenue mm -hmm. for everyone yeah, as well. Yeah, I think it'd be great. Mm-hmm. Well, we have a few minutes left, and I'd really like for you to throw something out to my viewers, educate them just in this few minutes that you have on being self-aware as well. Yeah. Sure. Um, we would like consumers to know that there is a place that they can go to find answers uh, to the questions that they have about living a toxin-free lifestyle. Our website, Green Body, Green Planet, provides a wealth of information for uh, toxin-free living. Besides just our, our hair care line, we also offer news stories and videos of um, resources that you could use to help you educate yourself to live a more proactive life when it comes to your health and your wellness. That's fantastic to know, Lori. Thanks. Really appreciate that. And I want to thank you so much you. on your wonderful it's insight. Been a pleasure. Thank you. Alrighty. If you have any questions or would like to contact Lori, please contact them at 1-888-201 8608 or direct at 612-220-2331 or contact them through the internet at www.greenbodygreenplanet.com. And please tune in to my other shows of Knowledge for Wellness being televised throughout the Twin Cities area and you can also see my previous shows on YouTube. And please visit my website at www.knowledgeforwellness.com. And you can also connect with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. And the mission of Knowledge for Wellness is to inform viewers on health issues, to expose, educate, and make viewers aware 
to enhance themselves and their loved ones for a better quality of life. And I hope we have provided you with more knowledge to benefit you and your loved ones. Remember, health is wealth. So until next time, be well and goodbye. Thanks again, Lori. Thank you very much. Over time you've healed so much in me And I am living proof That although my darkest hour had come Your light could still shine through And at times it's just enough to cast The shadow on the wall Though I am grateful that you shine your light on me at all. Who am I that you would love me so gently? Who am I that you would recognize my name? Lord, who am I that you would speak to me so softly? Conversation with a love most high. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound That saved a wretch like me I once was lost, but now I'm found Was blind, but now I see And the more I sing that sweet old song The more I understand That I do not comprehend this love That's coming from your hand Who am I? That you would love me so gently Who am I? That you would recognize my name Lord, who am I? That you would speak to me so softly Conversation with a love most high Who am I? Grace, grace, God God's grace, grace that is great.